Welcome. You found yourself in the middle of our series of Revenue Science Questions Asked and Answered in 60 Seconds. The question today is, why do silos have to be part of directional unification? This answer is going to surprise you because we're going to talk about silos on the buyer side and on the seller side. Both organizations have things like marketing and finance and sales and engineering and customer service. They got those silos on both sides of the organization. The interesting thing is most of the time those silos don't play well together. So if you're a seller, your silos need to be aligned so that you can come to the buyer with a single voice about what it is that you're going to bring them and why they're going to care and how they're going to monetize this. On the other side, if you're the buyer, if you don't have a directional unification on your buying team, every one of those different players, finance, marketing, legal, they all want something different from the seller. And that's an unrealistic set of expectations. And it often, what it really does is it, it breaks down the value the seller could bring you because the buyers are arguing about what they want. Get on the same page on both sides. Both sides need to have directional unification and those two need to be aligned. Thanks for joining us today. If we can help you in any way, if you got revenue science questions, you need an outsourced chief revenue officer, or you'd like to have your team unified by becoming certified as a chief revenue officer thinker, let us know. If you're not ready for that, hang on. There's another one in this series coming, and I'm going to look forward to seeing you then.